In this video, we will make a small part which is a L-shaped part. We will learn how to make holes, ribs. So start with a new and this is for dimension in millimeter. So now first we will do the sketching. Select XY plane. So we will make first rectangle. So that will be the side view of the L shape. But we will make the, the base first and the other part. So the dimension can be done after you have made the rectangle. So both sides we can do the dimensioning. Now we will finish sketching. So this is one part of the L shape. So we add thickness using extrude command. So one part of the L shape is ready. So now we will do another sketching. So we will do sketching on this plane. So we will sketch rectangular the side view part of the L shape give the dimensions so again accept the sketch by finishing it so now we have sketch for the other part of the L shape you can turn around and you can see now we will extrude so we have to extrude in the other other side give the dimension such that this part can be made so the L shape is ready Now we will use hole feature to make holes in the center part of this L shape. So there is a feature called hole. So you can select that one. Select the, the linear, linear hole. Now by clicking here you can make the hole and you can change the radius of the hole. So you whatever radius you can fix it now we will select the location of the hole so location from one edge and then location from the other edge so by selecting these locations you can make the hole at any place on this shape so just now we have made in the center. Similarly, we will use the, the same hole feature to make hole in the other part of the L shape. Change the radius as necessary and then fix the location. So now we have an L shape with two holes. So we can save this.
Now we will learn how to fillet the edges. The edges of a part can be very sharp. So fillet is done basically to round off the, the sharp edge. So there is a feature called fillet. We will select the feature fillet and then you can uh, give the radius of the fillet. And all you have to do is to select the edge where you want this fillet. So you can select all the edges where you want this fillet to appear. So basically it does the rounding of the edge, sharp edges. So wherever the fillet has been done, it appears as two lines. So fillet can also be done in the holes. Again, you can use the same radius of the fillet or you can increase or decrease the, the radius. So this is L shape with edges rounded off by using the fillet feature. Now we will learn making of hole by sketching and then by cutting. So we will make another hole. We will make hole on this surface. So first we will start sketching. So we will sketch the dimension of a hole that is the radius of the hole here. So by doing this sketch we are actually making this circular mark on one surface of the L shape. So we can fix the radius and also we can fix the location by using the dimension feature. So we can set this hole in any location except by finishing it. Now we will use the extrude command. So extrude command can also be used for making holes, that, is, that means for cutting of the material. In one case we add the material, in another case we cut the material. So here we have done the, the cutting and the hole is ready. Now let us make a rib. Rib is basically used to support an engineering part. So here we will make a rib between these two parts of the L shape. Between the two sections of the L shape. So first we will do the sketching of the rib. So the rib on the side view will be like a triangle. So we use the line command and we make a triangle then we can do the dimensioning to fix the dimension of this rib the length of the, the each side of the rib in the side view the rib looks like a right angle triangle so only we need to fix the two sides now we accept this sketch so this sketch is ready on for the rib. Now we can use the extrude command 
and we extrude here we are adding the material so we make it a three-dimensional shape so we can select the thickness of the rib so the rib is ready in this L shape now we will make the second rib on the other side of the L shape by using image command before imaging we need to find a plane we need to define a plane where uh, on which we will do the mirroring so there is a feature called work function or work plane so we select the work plane so basically we are trying to add one more working plane so this plane does not is not part of the um, of the L shape but it is just a working plane We will start again. So first come to the surface uh, against which we are making a parallel, parallel work plane. So now you can set the distance of the work plane from one of the sides, sides of the L shape. So this, this is the work plane and we can set the distance from the side of the L shape. So this is an imaginary plane which bisects bisects the L shape. Now we will use the mirror command. So we are making this rib as a mirror and using this work plane as the mirror surface. now you press the mirror command and you can see the feature the feature that you want to do the mirroring so the feature is the rib and the plane plane is the work plane so it shows you how the mirror will look like of the first rib and once you accept it then the, the second rib is also ready so we have done the mirroring put to make second rib rather than making it so this is very useful feature because in many applications if the feature is very complex then you can use the mirror to basically replicate the same thing on the other side by just selecting one more plane.